Welcome to our newest episode about the Genghis Khan. Subscribe our channel and enjoy. The world has seen many great conquerors throughout history, but few have left as lasting a mark as Genghis Khan. Born in 1162 on the Mongolian steppe, Genghis Khan was the son of a tribal leader who was poisoned when he was just nine years old. This event forced Genghis Khan to grow up quickly, learning how to survive in the harsh wilderness of Mongolia. But Genghis Khan's hardships only served to make him stronger, and he soon rose to become one of the greatest military leaders the world has ever known. In 1206, he was elected as the leader of the Mongol tribes, and given the title Genghis Khan, which means universal ruler. This marked the beginning of a period of expansion and conquest that would see Genghis Khan conquer much of the known world. Genghis Khan's military campaigns were characterized by their speed, mobility, and effective use of tactics such as feigned retreats and surprise attacks. He implemented a merit-based system for promoting officers based on their abilities, rather than their social status, which helped to create a highly effective and disciplined army. During his reign, Genghis Khan conquered the Jin dynasty in northern China, which lasted for more than 20 years. He also fought and defeated the Cramian Empire in Persia, which had previously been a major power in the region. His military prowess and strategic thinking were unmatched, and he is often credited with laying the groundwork for modern diplomacy and trade in the region. But Genghis Khan was not just a ruthless conqueror. He implemented a number of reforms that helped to unite and strengthen the Mongol tribes, including a new legal code and a standardized writing system. He was also known for his tolerance of other religions in his empire, including Buddhism, Taoism, and Islam, and is believed to have been a devout shamanist himself. Genghis Khan's legacy lived on through his descendants, who continued to rule over the Mongol Empire for many years. After his death in 1227, his empire was divided among his four sons, with his eldest son Joshi receiving the western part of the empire. Genghis Khan's influence can still be felt in modern-day Mongolia, where he is celebrated as a national hero and his legacy is commemorated through statues, museums, and cultural events. Despite his many achievements, Genghis Khan was a complex figure who has been both praised and criticized throughout history. Some have lauded him as a visionary leader who brought stability and unity to the Mongol tribes, while others have condemned him for his cruelty towards those who opposed him. But regardless of one's opinion of him, there can be no denying that Genghis Khan left a lasting impact on the world, and his legacy continues to be felt to this day. In conclusion, Genghis Khan was a conqueror unlike any other, whose military campaigns and reforms helped to shape the world as we know it today. He was a visionary leader who brought unity to the Mongol tribes, and his legacy continues to inspire and fascinate people around the world. Whether one views him as a hero or a villain, there can be no denying that Genghis Khan's impact on history is undeniable, and his story is one that will continue to be told for generations to come. Genghis Khan's rise to power began in the 12th century, during a time of great instability and conflict on the Mongolian steppe. His father, Yeshuge, was the leader of the Burjigin clan, one of the many tribes that vied for dominance in the region. However, when Genghis Khan was just nine years old, his father was poisoned by a rival tribe, leaving Genghis and his family vulnerable and without protection. Despite his youth, Genghis Khan quickly became a skilled warrior and leader, organizing his own band of followers and earning a reputation as a fierce and resourceful fighter. He spent many years traveling and raiding throughout the region, gaining valuable experience and honing his military skills. In 1206, the various Mongol tribes came together to elect a new leader, and Genghis Khan was chosen as the supreme ruler, with the title of Kagan, or Great Khan. This marked the beginning of a period of expansion and conquest that would last for many years. Genghis Khan's military campaigns were characterized by their speed and mobility. He relied heavily on cavalry units and was known for his use of feigned retreats and surprise attacks. His tactics allowed him to defeat much larger and better equipped armies, and he quickly established the Mongol Empire as a major power in the region. One of Genghis Khan's most significant military victories came in 1215, when he led his army against the Jin dynasty in northern China. The war lasted for more than 20 years and saw the Mongols capture several major cities and establish their dominance over much of northern China. Genghis Khan's campaigns also took him into Persia, where he defeated the Cramian Empire, a powerful Muslim state that had previously been a major player in the region. Despite his reputation as a fearsome warrior, Genghis Khan was also known for his administrative and diplomatic skills. He implemented a number of reforms that helped to unify and strengthen the Mongol tribes, including a new legal code and a standardized writing system. He also established a network of trade routes, known as the Silk Road, that connected China with the Mediterranean and allowed for the exchange of goods and ideas between the East and West. Genghis Khan was also known for his religious tolerance, which was unusual for a conqueror of his time. 
he welcomed representatives of various faiths into his court, including Buddhists, Taoists, and Muslims, and is believed to have been a devout shamanist himself. He respected the religious beliefs of his subjects and did not force them to convert to his own faith. Genghis Khan's death in 1227 marked the end of an era, but his legacy lived on through his descendants. His empire was divided among his four sons, with his eldest son Joshi receiving the western part of the empire. The Mongol Empire continued to expand under the rule of Genghis Khan's descendants, with his grandson Kublai Khan establishing the Yuan dynasty in China and his great-grandson Timur conquering much of Central Asia. Genghis Khan's impact on history is difficult to overstate. His military campaigns and administrative reforms helped to shape the world as we know it today, and his legacy continues to be felt in many different ways. The Mongol Empire's influence can be seen in the architecture, language, and culture of many different countries, and the Silk Road helped to facilitate the exchange of ideas and technologies between the East and West. One of the most remarkable things about Genghis Khan's conquests was the speed and scale at which they occurred. Within just a few years of being elected Kagan, he had brought together all of the various Mongol tribes under his leadership and had begun to expand his territory through a series of lightning-fast campaigns. His success was due in part to his tactical genius, but also to the fact that the Mongols were a highly organized and disciplined fighting force. They were able to move quickly and efficiently, and their use of horsemanship and archery gave them a significant advantage on the battlefield. Genghis Khan's conquests were not limited to the lands immediately surrounding Mongolia. He also launched campaigns against the Khorasmian Empire, which encompassed much of Central Asia and parts of the Middle East. The war was brutal and devastating, and it saw the Mongols raise entire cities and slaughter countless civilians. However, it also established the Mongol Empire as a major player in the region, and it opened up new trade routes and cultural exchanges between the East and West. One of the key factors in Genghis Khan's success was his ability to adapt and learn from his enemies. He was a skilled military strategist, but he was also a keen observer of other cultures and societies. He recognized the value of knowledge and technology, and he was always on the lookout for new ideas and innovations that could help him achieve his goals. He was also known for his tolerance of different religions and cultures, and he made a concerted effort to incorporate the best elements of other societies into his own. Another important aspect of Genghis Khan's legacy was his commitment to justice and fairness. He recognized that his conquests would be more successful if he treated his subjects fairly and justly, and he implemented a number of reforms to that end. He created a new legal code that was more egalitarian than the systems used by many of his predecessors, and he established a merit-based system of governance that allowed people to rise to positions of power based on their abilities, rather than their social status. Genghis Khan's legacy also extended to his family and descendants. He had many wives and children, and his descendants went on to rule over much of the world for several centuries. They established dynasties in China, India, Iran, and other parts of Asia, and their influence can still be felt in many of these regions today. However, the Mongol Empire also had a dark side, and its legacy of violence and oppression has been the subject of much debate and controversy. In recent years, there has been a renewed interest in Genghis Khan and the Mongol Empire, both among historians and the general public. Many people are fascinated by the story of this once legendary figure, who rose from humble origins to become one of the most powerful and influential leaders in history. Some see him as a hero, a visionary who brought order and stability to a chaotic world. Others see him as a ruthless conqueror, whose legacy is stained with the blood of countless innocents. Ultimately, the story of Genghis Khan is a complex and multifaceted one, full of contradictions and ambiguities. It is a story of conquest and empire building, of cultural exchange and innovation, and of violence and oppression. But it is also a story of resilience and adaptability, of leadership and vision, and of the enduring legacy of one of the greatest and most enigmatic figures in human history. Despite the controversies surrounding Genghis Khan and the Mongol Empire, there is no denying their impact on world history. The Mongols were instrumental in opening up new trade routes, spreading new ideas and innovations, and connecting different cultures and societies across vast distances. They helped to shape the modern world in countless ways, and their influence can still be seen in everything from art and literature to politics and international relations. But perhaps the most enduring legacy of Genghis Khan is his example of leadership and vision. He was a man who rose from humble origins to become one of the most powerful and influential leaders in history. He was a master strategist, a skilled diplomat, and a visionary who was able to unite diverse groups of people under a single banner. And he did it all with a sense of purpose and determination that continues to inspire people today. In the end, the story of Genghis Khan is a reminder of the power of leadership and the importance of vision. It is a reminder that even in the most challenging of circumstances, great things can be achieved with courage, determination, and a willingness to learn and adapt. And it is a reminder that the legacy of one person, no matter how complex or controversial, 
can continue to shape the course of human history for centuries to come. That's all for today, thank you for watching, subscribe our channel and see you in next episodes.